Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. It's a new tooled kit which copies World War II US Army truck in 135 scale. It's a G7107 and kit number is 35593, it's written here. So we have a final release, it means that's the final shape of this kit and you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and we are going to open it together and check what is actually supplied here and why this kit will be interesting for all fans of 135 scale builds, be it dioramas or maybe just the sole subjects with a truck in the main role. So first of all packaging here is standard, you can see that it's a I would say traditional ICM uh, box with a nice box art on the top and here you can see comparison with my hand. On this side here we have also some information and short history note. Again we have dark on dark which is rather not that smart so I will read it in a second. We have 274 parts inside and length of the finished model will be 164 millimeters while height is 77 millimeters. Obviously you can assemble only one truck and there are no paints or glue. And inside we have four marking options, but as you can see, they are quite simple. So there is no wonder that um, ICM was able to fit a lot of them, but that's not a bad thing. Actually, I'm happy to see that many marking options. And by the way, everything is uh, sealed with this sticker tape. So I'm going to cut through it and check what is inside. I see I'm started doing this relatively recently so in case you plan to open the box and check the contents be ready that you won't be able to do so so um, you will have to watch video review <laughs> or maybe uh, you can also check what is written on the box but as you remember there is not that much of information on the box well that's let's say a two-edged sword because from one side nobody will touch your kit from another side you are not able to evaluate it in the shop so it's a top opening box we have this flexible top part while all the parts are protected with this sturdy white cardboard box it's easy to open because here in the front we have a flap and all parts are packed into this one plastic bag you can see that we have a lot of gray plastic spruce as well as clear plastic frame and we will check them as usual one by one so just give me a second to open it it's a resealable plastic bag which is also a good thing because you can store your parts later obviously you won't be using them all at once and that's why it's always good to have a resealable plastic bag and in the meantime let me also remind you that we have special support DSV button it's a big red button on the right side of the website so if you would like to support us just press it it's done via PayPal so it's quick and safe and of course you are the one who decides how much we'll get for the new 14 video reviews maybe you'll be able to get some new kits with your help maybe something uh, for improving our now 14 video reviews but be sure that all this money will come handy for our reviews and builds okay so here we have a uh, first clear plastic frame it is packed into the separate plastic bag so that it won't be scratched and frankly speaking i'm not sure if there are masks included because recently icm started including the masking templates but i'm not sure if this kit actually features one so we will have to check the assembly manual but here you can check all these clear parts they look quite nice and in my opinion the only thing you will have to worry about is masking because as you can see there is some framing which will have to be carefully masked for a bit more convincing appearance. Okay next we start with the first gray plastic sprue so I will place it in the center and I suggest we zoom out first so that you can understand what we have here in total. So we have front cap parts we also have some parts for the drivetrain and I can see some engine parts here. Note that doors are molded separately so I guess they can be opened which is rather useful feature on such track. I'm not sure about the bonnet because as far as you can see this is actually the bonnet panel so I guess it can be opened in order to expose the engine but we will have to consult with assembly manual. That's, now let's zoom in and here you can see these parts. They look quite nice 
And molding quality more or less is fine. You can see here, for example, we have a dashboard and it's molded in a quite clean way. Here we have front and rear cap walls. Here we continue with some wheel axles and also some parts for the bonnet. Here we have wheel axles again and also this front guard as well as some interior parts. By the way, I would like to check what is inside this interior panel. So here you can see doors. As you can see, they're more or less empty, I would say. Wheel arches have some push marks, but it won't be visible, so there is nothing to worry about. The same can be said about this roof, but I'm not sure about the bonnet. So if you plan to open it, you have to think through how to hide all this stuff, because otherwise it will look strange when you will be able to see these things on your finished model. Next we continue with a smaller plastic frame. This one is dedicated to various minor elements so we can zoom in maybe even more because you can see we have here various parts for engine, suspension and also interior details. And everything looks cool, but just to remind you the, about the size here, you can see comparison with my fingertips. So these are really tiny bits. Be ready to install them with, um, I would say, tweezers, because otherwise it will be tricky to get them into the right spot without special tools. Okay. Next, we continue with two identical plastic frames. And here we have quite a nice surprise. So here you can see these two frames. I will leave you only one because they carry the same set of parts. So there is no need to show the same stuff again and again. But here we have plastic wheels. And as you can see, these plastic wheels are molded, uh, wheel rims are molded together with tires. And you will have to be careful while painting them. So as they are molded from both sides, but it might be handy for painting purposes. So I guess that's the internal side. And that was actually the external. So you paint this tire section and then glue it into the place. And therefore it will help you to avoid any masking. So it's also a viable thing to, uh, let's say, apply during the painting process. You also have here these frames for the tarp. Obviously tarpaulin is not supplied in this kit, but nobody stops you from replicating it with your own tools and hands. So it's up to you. And I would like to give a closer look for these wheels. So as you can see, we have guiding elements. And if I flip it over here inside, we have quite nice view rims, so it's just a matter of careful painting and weathering and you have a really nice result on your truck in 135 scale. Okay, next we continue with the last gray plastic sprue. So this one is dedicated to large rear bed panel. Also we have some suspension parts, main frame bars, steering wheel here, leaf springs, and everything is molded as a one piece part, so it should be easy to handle, but I suggest we zoom in as much as we can. And here we start with this corner, so as you can see, everything looks cool. And in my opinion, it's just a matter of careful separation and you have a nice result to use on your model. So here you can check exhaust as well. Here we continue with various parts for the steering and also again some parts for this rear bed. Okay, let's zoom out. Maybe we can check what is on the opposite side. So on the opposite side you'll find some guiding elements which are really handy because they will help you with alignment. You wouldn't have to waste your time trying to guess where to install this or that part. Next we continue with decals. So decals come on small decal sheet, but here we have all necessary symbols for four marking options, as you remember. We also have dials for the dashboard, which is also quite handy. And of course, you can replicate some of the sweaters if you have a really steady hand and thin brush, just use white paint and you'll get even more convincing appearance. But that's more for, I would say, experienced modelers. If you are not sure in your skills, definitely do not try it because then you will have to fix it somehow. And next we continue with assembly manual. Here I have to close the lenses a bit, zoom out because it's a traditional ICM format. We have color printed brochure with short history note and technical specifications. There is also a paint chart and some safety advices. If we open it here, you can see parts map. 
maybe I'll close the lenses even more. So parts map shows that here we will use all the parts as you can see nothing is crossed so be careful and try not to lose any of these elements. Assembly process starts with the main frame bar and installation of the sleeve springs then you start working on the various uh, structural parts which will be actually connecting both bars together as you can see it is rather a simple task but it will add some let's say additional features to your truck and maybe it would be a good idea to think how to show it on the truck because otherwise it will be just a hidden underneath here we continue with a few tank and then we start working on the drivetrain so as you can see here we assemble wheel axles and also I can see engine in this corner. Engine is rather simple, so I would suggest, well, here you can see all additional equipment added, but I would suggest to find some reference photos. Maybe you can also uh, detail it a bit more with wiring, with help of metal wire. Next, we continue with wheel axles here. And what is next here? We have various minor elements for suspension again, exhaust, as you can see it uh, connects obviously directly to the engine here we have some storage boxes installed from both sides then we start with this uh, side panels for legs and next we continue with what is that I guess that's the air intake for the engine. Here we start working on the cab interior. So as you can see there will be also some features. It will not be empty. And that's actually a cool thing because as you remember we have separate doors here. By the way you can see them assembled. And there are also some handles I can see being installed inside. So in case you plan to open the front cab it won't be empty inside. There are actual features implemented. And of course you can add more with painting and weathering techniques. Here, by the way, you can see the front cap installation process. Next, we continue with radiator grill. And note that bonnet is still not closed. We just start working on the bonnet panels. Here, we continue with more side panels installed here and there. Also, we have this front guard. And note that engine bonnet should be assembled in a closed position so if you would like to expose the engine inside and of course everybody would like to so it would be a wise idea to think how to open it here we have also spare wheel getting installed into the right spot and next we start working on the rear bed as you can see there are also various assembly options depending on the marking option you choose so pay attention to that and overall assembly process should be quite easy it's just a matter of assembling large panels and combining them together maybe you can play with weathering inside because obviously inside it will be used and scratched next we have front actually rear mud guards getting installed here as you can see they are replicated as a large panels and what is next so we start working on the wheels as you remember we have plastic wheels again that's a great uh, thing to have in a truck kit so i really appreciate that icm decided to not to choose the vinyl parts but implement the plastic parts here we continue with installing wheels from the opposite side then we start working on the side walls for the rear bed and that's for the Assembly option one. I can see there is also assembly option two here. So as you can see, it's folded, let's say inside. Next, we have front or headlamps getting installed into the place. Various minor elements, door handles, and some other stuff. Here we have also two assembly options for first and that's also the first marking option or assembly option. So as you can see, we have um, front or windscreen getting installed in place together with the screen wipers. I just wonder what will be the second assembly option. So here we have the second assembly option. Ah, so it will be a lifted uh, windscreen. And as you can see, the front panel will stay open, which is quite interesting thing to assemble. Here we continue with a first and second marking options. And here we have two more 
and they are uh, more or less the same so as I said before the main difference is the writings on the rear section and on the front cap so all in all we get a really nice new kit which should be already available and it comes in popular scale so definitely you will find the use for such model of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!